بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم and good morning everyone hope you all are fine may Allah grant bless on us here are some instruction where which you have to follow during the lesson you see the instruction on your screen Take a screenshot of home tasks and activities. Keep your book, midterm science copy and pencil box with you. Do all work in science, midterm copy and book. Keep your videos off. Use your headphone. Don't raise hand during the lesson. If you have queries, ask at the end through chat. Okay student, today we will cover two topics. First is Unit 21, Machine on the Move. And the next one is Unit number 22, More Machines. Today we will cover Two topics. Unit number 21. Machine on the move. The next one is unit number 22. More machines. Okay student. Do, do you know in previous era people did their work by their hands. In previous era people did their work by their hands. Do you see the pictures on your screen? They are doing their work by their hands. It took too much time and energy because at that, at that time there were no scientific, scientific inventions. As the time passes, invent, people invented so many things and scientific development done for their convenience which make life easy and reduce working time so machines are the tools which make our work easier do you know what are machines machines are the tools which make our work easier Machine is man-made or artificial thing. Machine is man-made and artificial things. We see different machines around us. We see different machines around us and use them in our daily life. For our convenience, here are some pictures of things which we use in our daily life. So, machine also help us in traveling. What do you mean traveling? Do you know traveling? Yes, traveling means to move one place to another. Traveling means to move one place to another. The machine which help us in traveling, they are called transport. The machine which help us in traveling, they are called transport. It includes car, ship, aeroplane, bicycle and many more. Do you know why transports are machines? Because it helps us in traveling and we reach to our destination in short time. So transport make our work easy and save our time. That's why transports are machine. Do you know? Why transports are machine? Because it helps us in traveling 
and we reach to our destination in short time. So transport make our work easy and save our time. That's why we call transport our machines. There are three types of transport. There are three types of transport. Land transport, sea transport, air transport. There are three types of transport. Land transport, sea transport, air transport. Land, land means ground or road. What do you mean by land? Land means ground or road. Okay, next is sea. What do you mean by sea? Sea is an area which covered by lots of water. There is a lots of water in the sea. Air. Air. Air mean in the sky. Air. Air mean in the sky. Okay. Land. Sea. Air. These are three types of transport. Land transport. Sea transport. Air transport. Okay. Now we will come to land transport. Land transport. Transport which move on the land. They are called land transport. Transport which move on the land are called land transport. Transport which move on the land. What they are? They are land transport. Yes, students. Do you know which transports are included in this? Yes, there is a picture I am showing. Yes, what is it? It is a car. What is it? It is a car. Yes. Car is a land transport and it runs on road. It runs on road. It has four wheels. Yes, how many four wheels they are? They are they have four wheels. Mostly use car for short distance. Mostly we use car for short distance. Yes. Next is motorbike. Motorbike. What is it? It is a motorbike. Yes. It runs much faster. How many wheels it has? It has two wheels. It has two wheels. And two passengers can ride on it easily. It is a picture of motorbike. It has two wheels. It runs much faster. And two person can ride on it. Okay. Now I am showing you again car. What is it? Car. It runs on the road. Where it run? It runs on the road. It has four wheels. We mostly use car for short distance. Next is motorbike. It is a picture of motorbike. It runs much faster. It has two wheels. And only two person can ride on it easily. Yes, the next picture is bicycle. Which picture is it? This is a picture of bicycle. Yes, student, do you see the bicycle? Yes, mostly students have bicycle. Yes, it has two wheels. It has two wheels. And we can move it by using pedals and we can use it by pedal it can move by pedal here are pedals yes 
and two wheels. It moves by the help of pedal. Yes, bicycle. What is it? It is a bicycle. It has two wheels and we can move it by using pedals. Yes, student. You understand? What is it? It is a bicycle. Yes, it is a land transport. It is a land transport. What are the land transport? Car, by bicycle. The next is van. It is a picture of van. Yes, it is similar like a car. It is similar, similar like a car. But its trunks is much bigger. It is a van. It is similar to car, but its trunk is much bigger. More than car, people can move through it. More than car, people can move through it. It is a van. The next picture is bus. Which picture is this? This is a bus. Okay. It is used as a public transport. It is used as a public transport. Different people can move by the help of bus. Okay. It is more used as public transport. It also has four wheels and it is usually much cheaper than using car. It is usually much cheaper than using car. We use it for city short city journey. journey. We use it for short city journey. It carry 30 to 40 passenger at a time. It can carry 30 to 40 passengers at a time. The next picture is truck. The next picture is truck. Yes. What do you see here? Yes. It is a truck. It also called lorry. It also called lorry. And it is used to carry goods. Goods, what is good? Goods are different things. Yes, we use it to carry goods. This is a picture of truck. It also called lorry. And it is used to carry goods. Okay, student. The next picture is train. What is it? It is a train. We use train for long distance. We use train for long distance or from city, one city to another city. We use train for the, we use train for the one city to another city. Yes. Okay. I told you about the land transport. Okay, land transport include car, car, okay, it, car is a land transport, it has four wheels and move on the road, bicycle, it has two wheels, okay. Bicycle, it has two wheels and now it is a van. Van. It is also a land transport. Bus. It is also a land transport. Truck. Train. All these are land transport. All these are land transport. Land transport which move on the land. Land transport 
which move on the land they are called land transport the second type of transport is sea transport the second type of transport is sea transport transport which move in the water are called sea transport it include boat which picture is this this is a boat yes which picture is this this is a boat it move on the shallow water and we use boat for fishing and as well as traveling this yes, student it is a boat it mostly used in shallow water and used for fishing and traveling yes the next is ship ship is also a sea transport ship which picture is this this is a ship it is a sea transport it is bigger than boat it is bigger than boat it move in the sea it transport people and goods the person who operate the ship is called captain who operate the ship ship operate captain we call her him captain okay sea transport yes what do you mean by sea transport we sea transport the transport which move in water is called sea transport sea transport the transport which move in water is called sea transport it include boat ship okay now come to the next type of transport air transport what is it air transport yes student air transport transport which move in the air transport which move in the air are called air transport transport which move in the air are called air transport yes it can do aeroplane what do you see on the screen yes student here is aeroplane aeroplane it is the fastest transport it is the fastest transport we travel one country to another country through it aeroplane it is the fastest transport we travel one country to another through it yes what is it it is aeroplane the next is helicopter what do you see on the screen what do you see on the screen yes students it is helicopter yes it is helicopter have you ever seen it yes student you see it it can be used for many thing it can be used for many thing it can be used as flying ambulance why we use it we can use it for flying ambulance yes there is a many uses of helicopter and we can be used as flying ambulance there are there are there are there are two types of transport there are three types of transport land transport air transport and sea transport okay land transport the transport which move on the land are called land transport and sea transport 
the transport which move in the sea are sea transport air transport which move in the air are air transport air transport air transport include aeroplane it is fastest transport we travel one country to another through it helicopter it is also a air transport it can be used for ambulance air ambulance okay except transport there are some more machine except transport there are some more machines which we use in our daily life there are some machines which we use in our daily life for example tv which picture you see on the screen here is tv we use tv for watching different programs like cartoon dramas and news why we use tv we use tv for watching different programs that uh, okay the next picture is blender do you see blender in your home yes it is blender we use blender for making different types of juice okay the, it is a picture of washing machine which picture is it it is washing machine do you know, do you know why we use washing machine yes we use washing machine for washing dirty clothes we use washing machine for washing dirty clothes now this is a picture of iron iron is we use iron for pressing our clothes we use iron for pressing our clothes okay this is a oven what is it it is a oven yes we use oven for making cakes and biscuit we can look okay. this is a picture of fan what is it it is a fan fan give us comfort by cooling our surrounding fan give us comfort by cooling our surrounding okay which picture you see on your screen this is a picture of clock we use clock for see time we use okay this is a picture of computer which is com this what is this it is a computer we use computer in our school bank as well as hospital we can also play games watching cartoon movies and news through it okay and we can get many type of information from it okay okay student machine work with the help of electricity batteries or cell machine help us with the help of electricity batteries or cell we use different machines which work with the help of electricity for example washing machine iron tv oven some machine we use battery or cells like clock okay student tell me now do you have toys do you have toys of course you all have do you have toys of course you all have in your toys some are stuffed toys like bear doll some cartoonic characters but except these you all have 
एरोप्लेन दैट फ्लाई रिमोट कंट्रोल कार डांसिंग डॉग एंड अदर टॉयज दैट मूव सो हाउ दे मूव डू यू नो हाउ दे मूव दे मूव विद द हेल्प ऑफ बैटरी एंड सेल दे मूव विद द हेल्प ऑफ बैटरीज और सेल दे आर कॉल्ड मकैनिकल टॉयज what they are called they are called mechanical toys hope you got the today's topic okay now move to the activities now move to the activities here is the first activity write type of transport land transport car motorbike bus truck train bicycle air transport aeroplane helicopter sea transport is ship boat okay write the types of transport land transport car motorbike bus truck train bicycle air transport aeroplane helicopter sea transport ship boat now come to the next activity write machines name which we use in our daily life tv clock fan iron washing machine oven computer write machines name which we use in our daily life tv clock fan iron washing machine oven computer okay now come to the next activity here are answer the question question number 1 what is machine answer is machine is man made thing which made our work easier Question number one is, what is machine? Machine is a man-made thing which make our work easier. Okay, now come to the ne next question. Question number two, why we use clock? Answer is, we use clock for watching time. Question number two is, why we use clock? Answer is we use clock for watching time. This is student. Now come to the next activity. You see the next activity on your screen. Identify the true and false sentences. Identify the true and false sentences. True mean correct sentence, and you will put T in front of this. And false mean wrong sentence. you have to put f if the sentence will be wrong okay this sentence number 1 is machines do not make our work easy is it true no it is false it is wrong sentence it is false that's why we put f here okay the next is we use tv for watching cartoon yes student what is it true or false it is true very good it is true sentence that's why we put t okay now we are we am i'm showing to going home task here is home task okay write type of transport number 2 is write machines name which we use in our daily life write answer of the questions identify the true and false sentence okay now i am showing slides kindly take screenshot fast here is unit number 21 machine on the move you will make this title page on blank page take a screenshot 
okay and you will do this activity in front of title page on four lines the next title page is unit number 22 more machines unit number 22 more machine that was is title page and you will do this activity in front of title page on four lines take a screenshot okay now the third page on third page you will do the answer the question you will do this activity on third page take a screenshot kindly take a screenshot okay this activity you will do on fourth page take a screenshot activity 1 this is the activity 1 activity 2 this is activity 3 and this one is activity 4 okay it's all about today's topic it's time to leave take care allah hafiz